Hello once again, I am Mangesh and uh, in this video we are covering some basic commands of Unix again. Uh, in previous session we have done with the chmod command how to apply permissions to files and directory. We also learn what is a umask. In the screen you can see uh, one table. In first column uh, there are commands, the syntax they have used. You just need to provide the explanation in the uh, second column. Like first command is chmod a plus r. And this is what the file name, which is already exists in your uh, uh, server. And you are giving what this syntax is doing. chmod a plus r public, uh, public comments, that is a text file. So you are actually assigning read permissions to everyone. Okay. So a plus r, this is a way to how to apply permissions with the help of ch, ch mode command. And uh, it's an example of relative permission. Again, plus r also will give the uh, same output like this. Then uh, a minus x means you are removing some execute permission. So please try these all syntax on your terminal and plan same practice for the ch mode command. Uh, and uh, previous video is very helpful to learn the ch mode command. So same uh, same practice if you'll perform, then you'll get the hands-on knowledge of the ch mode as well. Let me move to the few more commands. Uh, there is a one more command called as a chown. People are calling it chown, but it is not a chown. It is change ownership chown change owner of the file change owner of the uh, directory but in this session i will show you uh, how to add the new user also because only linux admin can add a new user into a system like if i have a, i'm an admin uh, right now i have a ubuntu application in my system and uh, i'm an admin of this because i have a root access as well so i can add multiple user in this so let me log in first and then we will start with the, some practice. Okay. Um, sudo. Uh, in first video also we have learned what is the use of sudo because I'm going with the root user and password of my root user is root. So obviously uh, I forgot my password. Let me reset my password first. sudo passwd. Passwd is a command to change the password. So let me give the password of Mangesh first. Then uh, this is a new password which I am giving to the root user. So yes, you must be aware of the password of Mangesh user first. Okay, so I know what is the password of Mangesh user. And uh, now I can easily switch myself to uh, root user with the help of su command or sudo su. So switch user to root. The password of root user is this. In first video, we also learned that dollar means you logged in with the other user and hash means you logged in with the root user. How to check it? Who am I is a command. See? Let me exit from the root user. I am putting exit. Who am I? Yes, I am a Mangish. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the root user again because I want to add few more uh, users in this system. So root uh, password of root user is this. I have logged in into a root user. Let me add new user into the system. Add user Ramesh. Ramesh user I am adding. So this is a uh, Linux command to add user into a server or into a operating system because one operating system can access by multiple users as well. So one server can access by multiple users. So I am adding one more user. So password for Ramesh I am setting same. Oh, I am not able to. Sure. same password then uh, enter if you want to add those details you can add it or yes i have added that user successfully now you will ask me where all users details will get saved all users details will get saved under a home directory so i went to home directory you can see i am in a home directory if i'll do ls minus lrt then i can see mangesh and ramesh is already present here and uh, we can easily say that for this system three users can easily access root by default because it's an admin user the way windows we have administrator in uh, unix we have a root mangesh and ramesh are the other guest users who has access of this particular system as well okay uh, let me again uh, if i want to switch user with the ramesh so i will use su command and i will do the ramesh so i directly logged in with the ramesh user see so su command used to switch the user Next, uh, let me exit from here. Let me exit from here. And by default, I logged in with the Mangesh user because that is my user. And uh, uh, let me create some files here. With the help of 
touch we can easily create file 123.txt 234.txt adc.txt some files i'm creating just randomly ls minus lrt so i can see uh, uh, this is what the permissions of the file then linking then uh, this is what the owner who is the owner of that file this is a group name then there is a size will come in the picture and uh, date and time so this is current date and time and file name at the last okay if i created some file with the root user let me switch with root user so let me see where am i am i am in the root directory by default okay so let me exit i am in home uh, mangesh directory right now if i'll do sudo minus sudo su so i will exist in same directory huh? see uh, in your root directory you have come sudo means that pra add on privilege will get it for normal user it's very important because through mangesh user if i want to add anyone then i need to use this sudo because sudo has that privilege that uh, admin parts will get automatically completed through your normal user also i want to install one new command in uh, linux because in this uh, laptop i don't have a melex command okay uh, that command not found and it is saying that if you want to install a melex command then use this and starting they have given sudo why they have given sudo because mangesh is a normal user na if i will log in with the root user sudo su root okay i have logged in and if i'll type melex melex is not installed so here you they, they are saying that you need to use apt install and mel utils this is a package name of melex command install is a command apt app install is a command actually app is a install is a command to install this command in this system so you can execute this then automatically it will download some uh, uh, patches or some binary files of mls commands and it will install in this system also uh, this is also we have done in our previous session in previous video it is already there okay so i want to learn how to change the ownership that's it so that's the reason i logged in with the root user okay uh, let me go to the my home directory that is home mangesh pwd right now i am in mangesh directory there are some files that already exist i am creating some more files over here touch okay let me create directory mkdir uh, i am giving directory name as a ram okay uh, let me create one more file touch shm sham okay then uh, one more directory i am going to create over here mkdir Triple S. So let me put ls minus lrt. Now you can see here owner of the file is a root and uh, group name is also root because you logged in with the root user. That's the reason. And uh, uh, let's exit from the root root user now. You are in the same directory. Control L is the uh, shortcut key to clear your terminal. Now I want to go to this directory actually, uh, RAM directory. So cd ram i can easily go over there cd dot dot uh, i'll go back to my previous one again s minus lrt now um sudo chown uh, i want to change the permission of the file ch mode through ch mode we can easily change the permission and uh, going to change the permission for the directory so now look at this that you have given only read write and execute access to owner only because other doesn't have any kind of access others cannot go to this ram directory now if i'll go to cd ram it is saying that i am not having the permission i don't have permission to access ram directory why because only root can access and this first three permissions is only for the owner others doesn't have any kind of permission and if you want to change this then chown chown command will come in the picture okay so though it is a log the root user so i need to use uh, sudo access here because normal user cannot change the owner with the chown command directly so sudo chown uh, 
what is the new owner name i want to put ramesh ramesh will be the owner ramesh will be the group also and ramesh will be the group of this ram directory so look at this now owner name got changed group name got changed and now only ramesh can access this directory along with ramesh root also can access because root is a admin user it's a super user it, if you not allow any kind of permissions to the root user also they have the privilege to access any kind of files and directory so let me show you one more thing uh, with that sss directory i am going to remove all the permissions from the sss chmod 000 sss now uh, operation not permitted because it's a uh, i logged in with again normal user now that's the reason i have put sudo now it is executed properly so ls minus lrt uh, look at this uh, this directory doesn't have any permissions now cd sss permission denied who am i it's a uh, mangesh mangesh cannot access this directory let me log in with the another user su ramesh i'm logging switch user ramesh password of ramesh is this look at this who am i my current directory is this so let me go to the home mangesh i came to the mangesh directory now ls minus lrt uh, cd sss See? ramesh is also not accessing this directory because of that permission again let me try with the uh, root user now switch user to root So currently I'm in this directory, root directory, home, mongesh, ls minus lrt, cd, sss. Now sss only access by super user because if you will not allow any permissions to any user, but root can easily access that particular folder without permission because, because root is a super user. And you also learn what is the use of sudo. Sudo means that particular admin privilege will get to you. I'll tell you how. Okay, uh, let me go to exit this. Uh, I logged in with normal user, right? Uh, Ramesh, ls minus lrt. So Ramesh was not able to access this. But if you do sudo cd sss, then Ramesh can also access that directory with add on password. But it is saying that uh, no, Ramesh cannot because Ramesh is not a root user. So if you do the sudo also, then then and then only also Ramesh cannot access this. So let me try with Mangesh user also. Now I'm a uh, login with Mangesh user. See who am I? And uh, CD SSS permission denied error I'm getting, and I'm putting sudo first. Still I'm getting uh, CD command. Okay, prior to CD you cannot use sudo. It is not accepting actually. Like this, sudo is only work for in the permission chmod uh, command. Or if you want to execute any script, if you want to execute any kind of uh, code into a server, that time you can use sudo because sudo has that admin level privilege. Here it is not helping with the uh, cd command because prior to cd, sudo is not working properly. Like this. So here you require only permission to access this directory and you don't have any kind of permission. Nobody has any kind of permissions to go to this directory but only root user can go easily so let me try with sudo su mangesh okay so what i have done is uh, i have done sudo su mangesh and now let me try with this it is still saying permission denied because i sudo switch user mangesh so sudo means what that power privilege already received for su switch user to mangesh user but because of this permission you are not able to access it okay and uh, problem is what the owner of this file is this root that's the reason we have faced so much issues now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the ownership of this file and then we will see what will happen so mkd okay uh, c h o w n and i am giving mangesh mangesh owner name mangesh group name mangesh first this is what the owner name this is what the group name uh, sss it is not operation not permitted because of 
now let me put sudo first automatically operation will get permitted see owner name change for that directory now i have logged in with the mongoose user na cd sss it is showing permission denied but uh, again let's try with this cd sudo cd sss it is showing command not found then only root user can access it why because mongoose user doesn't have any permissions here na though he is a owner but he doesn't have any permission that's the reason he is not able to access this directory cd sss and yes it is a directory sorry cd sss mongoose cannot access that only root can access so here we have learned uh, how to change the ownership of the file and directory as well and uh, if you want to change the ownership for all files what we can do is those are the shortcuts you must be aware of it so may, let me put ramesh you owner name ramesh group name ramesh for all files and folders i'll put star but somewhere uh, it is giving operation not permitted because of sudo privilege let me try with sudo and now everything got changed for all files and directory ramesh is owner if you want to change back to the mangesh again cotwl uh mangesh is a owner name mangesh is a group name and star star means all again it is giving the error try with sudo so sudo has that admin privilege because of that sudo your operation is getting perform easily so let look at this everyone so actual syntax is if you have a your system and chow is a command then you need to give mangesh that is what the new owner name again mangesh as a group name and then file or directory name you need to mention here to change the ownership of the file so here same things we have seen here if this is not working here for admin privilege you need to use sudo before chown command chgrp command is not working so if you want to change the group name obviously what you need to do one file is there chown um let me see which files 123.txt first file chown i am putting it uh, mangesh would be my oh, owner name ramesh would be my group name let's see what happens with this operation not permitted let me try with the sudo again and it is performed successfully see i have given mangesh as a owner name ramesh as a group name so chown used to change the owner name also and group name as well okay so do not try for do not go for chgrp this will not work and uh, again we have a file command it will show you the file type file then put 123.txt so it is a normal ascii empty file because that file doesn't have anything so let me see ls minus lrta do we have some yeah i have some hidden files here see bash history then the uh, uh, dot profile so what i'm doing um, i'm just creating a backup of dot profile with another name because the that size is 807 blocks na that's the reason so i need some uh, non empty files as well so cp command will help me to create the backup in the same directory i will create so backup 1.txt cp uh, dot bash rc uh, i'm creating backup 2.txt then again cp command i'm using to create a dot bash so 111.txt i have created some file, some more files ls minus lrt you can put see these are the files uh, because these are the empty files though their uh, size is zero now these are not empty files with the help of cat command also you can open those files like this backup one dot see so these are the some it is over there okay i don't want to do anything with this grave so i want to see that what is a what kind of file is this this file so let me file backup 1.txt so this is a normal text file it is saying it is saying this is a normal text file if this sham is a executable i am assigning some execute permissions to sham 
how to assign the execute permission with the help of sound sorry ch mode command will help you to change the permission 777 everyone has each and every permission for sham directory okay, ls minus lrt this is what the executive executive file and that file command will tell me that sham is uh, it's actually empty it doesn't have anything that that's the reason but it has an executive permission let me try that execute permissions to this ch and uh, ls minus lrt okay c file it is also text file it is showing uh let me try with the linking file how it shows uh in next video we will create another uh, separate video i'll create for the linking but ln is a command to create the linking file so i have created one linking file here this and uh, let me try with the file command it will show you it will show me the file type what kind of file is whether it is empty not empty Four, five. so it's a symbolic link of this file it is showing so file will tell me whether it is file or directory or linking file that's it file command i have just covered here then uh, let's uh, complete common command com command diff command and sort command in another video but whatever we have done in this video that is very important we have learned how to uh, check the how to switch the user su command we have seen we also seen what is the power of that sudo word sudo is very important it will give the pre uh, admin privilege to the normal user so normal user can easily execute ch mode or uh, execute any uh, script files over the server and uh, we also learn uh, some sort of commands like uh, uh, chown to change the ownership of the files then file command and com command diff command and sort command i will cover in the next video thanks for watching this video see you again in the next one thanks guys